Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael here and you're watching a commentary video for the Dark Sector demo. Now you're probably wondering why am I doing a demo of such an old game? Um, because I'm bored, basically. I do remember owning Dark Sector. It was a day one purchase when it first came out. Ever since it was announced, I believe as the first next gen title, I was looking forward to the title a lot basically um so much that i did release day delivery with amazon yeah, i was really looking forward to this title it's quite a shame it didn't live up to d3's expectations and it kind of bombed with the critics and i think sales wise as well so as far as seeing a sequel for this game i doubt we'll be seeing one but yeah it was it was pretty fun at the time graphically when it came out it's one of the best looking games in my opinion and not many complaints about it it was fun but uh, yeah, let's spite of the fact that right you are so broken, but I can fix you. Of course, you die in the process. Uh, that's the main character you're seeing right there. I forgot what his name is. Deserve it. I forgot to turn notifications off, so you might be seeing some uh, pop-ups and whatnot. Uh, the controls are pretty similar to Gears of War for anybody who's played it. You'll you'll be right at home with as far as that goes. So yeah, graphically, look at it. It's pretty 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 sick looking in my opinion. It was good looking at the time. It still is. Better than a lot of the games that's coming out right now. That glaive he has in his hand was badass. One of the most unique weapons I've ever seen in a video game before. It was, it was fun. Get the fuck off of me. A little finisher right here. Pretty nice. And breath. Yeah, that reminds me how bad the camera sometimes would be. That's one of the complaints, as well as the shooting. The shooting in this game was awful, plain and simple. I just unlocked the power throw. That means um, you get a more powerful throw. Go figure. So as you saw there when you charge it up and uh, reticule turns yellow, you let go of RB at the right moment and that's how you activate the power throw. But yeah, looking around, the rain, the graphics, the lighting, it's a pretty amazing game. The artwork is impressive. Uh, there's really nothing to complain much about with this game. Besides the multiplayer, yeah, because the multiplayer was kind of kind of stupid. I got some enemies here. Never really knew who I was fighting in this game or why. Yeah. So the memory's all faint right now, but if I remember correctly, I think I was escaping from some kind of SAS facility or something. Don't really care. Bam. Headshot. <laughs> the physics were pretty impressive, too. You bounce that glaive off anything, and it's going to go that way. Headshot. And yeah, you had to use that cover system because your health was not a lot to uh, toy around with. I'm playing on easy too, so. Imagine playing on hard, you'll see how um, how easy it is. You could have died, excuse me. Pick up a shotgun here. I remember that um, you couldn't hold on to the enemy weapon for too long because they would uh, eventually, like you see there, burn out. Kind of like Metagear Solid, where you had the, um, I believe it's Metagear Solid, I can't remember the game. But you needed the ID just in order to uh, be able to use the gun in that game. Shoot. See here, it's blinking and it's about to expire any time now. And that's it for that. Power throw. Boom. Boomerang. That's what you call it. Just picked up a uh, weapon upgrade. It's called Fire Rate. So uh, once you hit the, um, I remember the markets were in these sewers. So once you find a sewer, you can find a market, black market guy, and uh, apply the upgrades that you would collect to your gun. But if I remember correctly, once you applied it, you won't. I'm sorry, you weren't able to take it off. So you had to be real careful what you wanted to give it. After touch. This is probably my favorite power-up throughout the whole game. It allows you to basically throw the glaive and control it after you throw it. 
So it's like a remote control boomerang. Ooh, his arm is gone. Can I get a hit? Yeah, your head's gone. Oh, two for one special. You like that. <laughs> The sound effects of that glaive, man, it's just, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty damn nice, plain and simple. Just throwing it. Your legs are gone. See how it bounced off the floor and went straight up to the sky. So yeah, the physics for that were pretty nice. They did that, they did that pretty well. Who's hiding here? I'm gonna get your head. Can't go that far. Let's move up a bit. I'm going to take your legs. Even though I hit your foot, your leg came off. What can I get of yours? Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love the uh, lighting effect. So. You don't actually carry around a flashlight, but the light came from the glaive itself. So you could throw the glaive for dark areas and the light would follow it. So that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Down into the underground. All right, now, hair just reminded me of how, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, how scared I used to get of this game sometimes, because these creatures were pretty creepy popping out of nowhere. Um, I don't know what they were called, I believe crawlers or something. But these things were trouble. There you go right now. Oh yeah, that sewer is where the black market is. Hey, it's Yankee Doodle. He's come to town. Sounds like somebody off uh, Assassin's Creed. I believe his name was Mario. Those who played Assassin's Creed 2 know what I'm talking about. So you buy guns with the money you collect, or as they call rubbles, rubles. Ah, I don't know. Nice and quick for such stopping power. Right, here we go. The crawl is here. See how badly I'm getting injured already. Let's activate that glaive, how about we? Where are you guys hiding? Ooh, found you. Activate the light, let's get some light to follow. This wasn't a power throw, I believe, so it wasn't gonna be that effective. Uh, let's try one more time. Turned a little late. I think I'm gonna miss. Not make it. Just barely. So let's move up. And this quickly before I die. Your arm gone. I never knew what the hell they were actually drawing. I kind of finger fireballs or something. All right, this part here, I remember from the final game, it it creeped me the hell out. <laughs> yeah, they were coming from everywhere. I didn't know where to look, where to turn. It was pretty creepy. Music going, noises flowing. Yep, here we go now. Yep, that scared the hell out of me. Oh yeah, another effect for the glaive is the elemental powers you could uh, pick up. So let's say you throw the glaive at fire, electricity, and whatever else there was in this game, it will pick up that element for a set amount of time. It's pretty cool. If I remember correctly, I think I died once. Surprisingly, his hand is not burning. Because in Dark Sector, fire is no obstacle. Oh yeah, the melee was also some uh, 
pretty crappy, as you can see here. Up close and still missing. But the finishers were nice. Ron, I believe his name was Ethan. I'm just gonna call him Ethan. He looks like an Ethan to me. Burn this place up. Oh, he jumped. I don't know where to turn, it's crazy. did die here as you'll see another thing that was pretty um, pretty dumb was the checkpoint system that started all the way back here but um we're going out with a better plan I'm not using that striker I believe I'm gonna buy a AK or something like that Get that. Look who it is! My favorite half monster customer! Ha! <laughs> Excellent choice! I guess Resident Evil 4 hey, really started the uh Doodle. He's come to town! The anonymous merchants that would just talk and talk and talk for no reason. Who knows what they were saying or why they were saying it. But I know one thing. It didn't really matter in the end. <gasps> Let's try this again, with a lot more wisdom this time. Ooh, two for one special. Now you see, up close, how did that miss? Oh yeah, I remember now. There was also an ice element, so the ice one was pretty cool as well. Of course, as you would assume, pick up the ice element, throw it at somebody, they get hit with it, they turn to ice, which then you can use to uh, shatter them. You shoot them more, just throw the glaive again, and they'll shatter into many, many Time for the AK. Surprised I got him on that one. I thought I did. Now we got more coming out. This, <laughs> this is the part that kind of scared me. I thought it was over. Got people jumping off roofs and whatnot. Ooh, and it's over. Or though I thought. Or though I thought. Or though I thought. Or so I thought. I ain't coming out from behind me without me knowing. Got some trouble. Bam, scared the hell out of me. Turn around quick as hell. Don't wait for me. Now it's over. I remember playing this on hard and boy, was it hard to get through. Right up coming is Big Bazooka. I believe this is the level. I like the motion blur hair, it looks uh, pretty, pretty cool. One of the first boss fights, I'm not sure if it's the first, but one of the boss fights you'll fight is a big gorilla. Not literally, but you know, got some King Kong going on. All right, big guy, let's see what you've got. It's gotten a lot. Where did he go? 
This is the electric element. Didn't really do much for me in this fight. I'm sure I'm supposed to use it for something, but I cannot remember. Oh, I just stick to the fire. It just paralyzed him as you see, but being paralyzed up above not really helped me from down here. Oh. Another finish. Alright, as you can probably tell by now, I was running out of ideas of what the hell I was supposed to do. Bullets, as you see, were having no effect. Go back to fire. That burn. If something happened, no, he's just gonna charge at me. Curious when I thought, okay, maybe I'm supposed to knock down all of the pillars and whatnot. Mm, not so much. Oh, mama. You would hear that bell sometimes, and if I remember correctly, the bell is supposed to fall, if I remember correctly, right on top of him, which ends the fight. I looked around, I did not see a single bell. So I'm um, not too sure if that's what it was, I really don't care. Oh, if you're wondering, no, you can't combine the elements. So you can't have an electric fire blade, although that would be pretty cool. As you can see, I'm really running out of ideas of what the hell I'm supposed to do. And ultimately, we just keep doing this. I thought maybe, okay, let me try to knock down all of the pillars. Where am 
am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? I thought maybe he was dead. No, just hitting myself. Quick. Yeah, from here I seriously have no idea what's supposed to happen. And ultimately I do just quit. Enough reminiscing for uh 20 minutes. I know it's something to do with that, that electricity tower, but uh, it's too late now. If I remember correctly, I was supposed to go past that wall. Why won't you die? Think this is a game, buddy? You can tell there was no way in hell I was going to restart that checkpoint. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Dark Sector commentary. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, happy holidays to you all. Thanks for watching.